Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to look at another flow use case and focusing on schedule flow today. So I'm going to walk you through what the use case is and also how to create a schedule flow from scratch. So feel free to follow along if you like. Okay, so today's use case is around opportunity. So um, it is just a hypothetical scenario and there are other ways to solve this, but we're going to use schedule flow for this. The use case goes something like this. You have an opportunity record and um, as you know, there is a closed date field on opportunity. What I want to do is um, every time the closed date is within three days in future. So like um, if, the, if today's date is 7th of August and the closed date is going to be 10th of August and the opportunity is still not closed, what I want to do is create a task and assign it to the opportunity owner. So you can either create a task or send an email as a reminder that, hey, you have an opportunity closing up in three days, but the opportunity stays is still in negotiation. Go ahead and close the opportunity or something like that. So that is the requirement. I'm going to stick to creating a task, but it could be an email alert as well for you. And of course, this can be done by using reports uh, notification as well. Um, so let's start with the flow use case. So I'm here on the flow screen. You can go to setup, click on flow and it's new flow. Just click on that and the selection will be schedule trigger flow. Now, why am I selecting schedule trigger flow is because this is something I want to run every day. So record triggered flow could work in some scenarios like time triggered record, um, time based record triggered flow. But I want to avoid them as much as possible because it gets really hard to debug any time based uh, actions because once the opportunity is edited, it will stay there waiting until that cr criteria is met to then fire, fire the task creation or email send out. So I really prefer the schedule triggered because it is something you can run every day on a timing. So like let's say I'll say 9 a.m. of every day, this flow will run. And what it will do is it will check against all the opportunities that are meeting that requirement and then create the task or send emails for those opportunities um, every day. So pretty straightforward and that's why I prefer schedule triggered flow as opposed to time based actions. Um, I really avoid that unless it's absolutely needed. So going to free form and then here I'm just going to say set schedule um, just to say today's starting date and I'm just going to pop in a random time but this is something you can work your business with uh, whatever time prefer usually they prefer in the morning but you can figure that out. Uh, I'm just going to say daily here hit done and choose object you have to choose opportunity as per our requirement. And you can, and what one thing to call out here is this condition requirement is not great for the schedule flow. Meaning, let's say if you wanted to select a date here, right? Close date. It won't give you any other option other than static value, which is really not ideal. And usually I've never used this before because that doesn't meet any of the requirements. So um, just to keep it simple and one criteria we can definitely use is stage name because we know that we only want to create the task when the stage is in negotiation because that is the in my org that is prior to close one or close last stage so I'm just going to keep that so that the number reduces it's really important to keep your um, record volume low as they enter in this one so if you have 100,000 opportunities in your org Obviously, you want to reduce that number as much as possible. So adding that criteria will reduce the number. Then comes the decision because now we know that it's a negotiation, but we need to also figure out the date. We wouldn't need the decision if that was possible to add in the first step itself. But since it's not possible, we are using a decision to do that. Now here, um, I'm just going to say closing opportunity date or opportunity close date because we want to decide based on that now there are so many ways to do this I'm just gonna say opportunity close closing in three days and if this is yes then only we create the um, task otherwise we don't do it so And here, instead of using the close date directly, what I'm going to do is create 
a formula field and you'll know why I'm doing that because it's something I want to keep it dynamic so the reason I'm creating a formula here and not a formula field you could create a formula field which will basically capture the date from now and close date so all you need is a difference between today's date and the close date but since I don't need that formula field for anything else I'm just going to use a flow formula um, to not create a field just for the sake of the flow so resource type formula and I'm just going to say constant because formulas are usually constant or you can just say var um, close today minus close date and data type will be number hit zero here and the formula is going to be today minus insert resource and here you'll say record so anytime you see dollar symbol that means it's dynamic so because our flow is entering on opportunity every record will have the opportunity value there so close date so today minus close date. The reason I'm picking today and not now is because today is a date field and now is a date time field. And we know that close date is also a date field. So make sure these two are same. Let's say if you had a different timing or let's say if this field was created date, then you would have to use date value or some formula to convert that into date so you can subtract it like this. Okay, so hit done. So that is our formula. Basically today is... And then I'm just going to say if it is um, hmm, greater, less than or equal to 3. Okay. Less than or equal to 3. Just thinking uh, thinking through that. So imagine if uh, the opportunity close date was, let's say opportunity close date was August 10th. And today's date is August 7th. Actually, so now that I'm thinking about it, you need to go back to the formula and change the formula a little bit. We need to do a reverse. So let me hit that done. So to find your formula, you need to go here and click on this. We actually need something like this reverse because we are saying the close date will always be in the future minus today. Hit done. Go back to your formula and just make sure you're, you're doing it right. Um, so if the August 10th is in future minus today, if that is less than three, then only you want to do it. If it is more than three, then we don't care about that because it's still far away in the future. Okay, so that is the decision. And next thing we all want to do is create a task. It could be something else, but in this case, I'm just going to create a task. Create a task reminder and use all value use separate resources and literal values is what I'm going to select here and task the first two option works usually if you already have a record variable created um, in this case I'm just going to say all the all the required fields activity date of today and related to this is important because we want to make sure the opportunity is related to that um, sorry the task is related to that opportunity record.id which is here opportunity id okay so we've got the honor priority name is there a name status um, not started that's the default but I'm just gonna populate it anyway and that's pretty much all I need here connect these dots so uh, it only goes into this if opportunity is closing in three days hit done and save the reminder closing in three days okay and save that let me make sure the timing is correct so we can test it out immediately in order to see where your scheduled jobs are you can go to quick find and type jobs and you'll be brought up to schedule jobs click on that and this will bring you to, to the screen now your org might have other scheduled jobs as well 
this will include all your apex jobs report runs and everything else so here i'm seeing the scheduled flow for opportunity that i set up yesterday this is actually day two so you can see i've set up this yesterday 6 13 pm started yesterday once and then it ran again uh, today at 6 15 pm one of the things to keep in mind is actually this depends on your admin time zone settings so since i'm in est that's what uh, it fires at 6 15 pm based on my time zone so keep that in mind i ran into the same issue so let's check out the opportunity now so if you see here you'll see that yesterday i ran it two times so i have two tasks here and it's the same opportunity i went ahead and set the close date at 8 sorry 8 10 2021 so you can see i have one task so it will keep on creating the task until i reach that close date so this task was created today that is all for today thank you so much for watching i hope that was helpful and a huge shout out to all my patreons for this month um thank you for all your support and i have also recently started a blog post on medium so go check that out if that is something you're interested in i blog about data migration salesforce best practices and more of a uh, architectural best practices type blogs so check that out if that is something you're interested in thank you